Apparently Holly Willoughby wasn't best pleased when cozy looking pictures of her former bestie Philip Schofield and her good friend Declan Donnelly hit the papers last week. In our opinion, the Saturday Night Takeaway host made it very clear whose side he's on, which in effect, has left Holly Willoughby, out in the cold. And not only does it look like her friends are turning their backs on her, Holly is headed for yet more troubled times as later this year she will go head-to-head -head into battle against her this morning replacement Kat Dealey. Oh it's all going horribly wrong for her, isn't it? More on that later. Philip Schofield, who left the daytime show 12 months ago, following an affair with a young runner, was seen giggling with Holly's chum Declan Donnelly after the two enjoyed a four-hour dinner, together with Dec's wife Aaliyah Stahl, which has apparently stuck in Holly Willoughby's craw, especially since she dropped her former bestie Phil like a stone following his exit from this morning, effectively throwing him under the bus as she completely distanced herself from her longtime friend. Now that it's been claimed that Deck and Philip were hatching a plan for a big Schofield TV return, with an appearance on I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here a distinct possibility, Holly has had her nose pushed out, and it's said that she's feeling very nervous about what a Philip Schofield comeback could mean for her reputation. Yes, as ever, it's all about Holly Willoughby. And, as well as that, she also feels things could be about to get awkward between herself and Deck. Holly is known to be close to Ant and Deck, and she was among the very first to comment on the birth of Ant McPartlin's baby. In a message to Ant, Holly wrote, Congratulations. Welcome to the world wilder. Such beautiful news, followed by teary-eyed and heart emojis. Holly is also super close with Declan Donnelly, having been seen numerous times sharing dinner dates and nights out and of course previously having hosted I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here alongside him, as Ant McPartlin's replacement. Now, a source says, Holly was upset when she saw the pictures of Phil with Deck. They said, she's understandably nervous about what a comeback could mean for her own reputation and career. And she feels that it could cause some unnecessary awkwardness between her and Deck. The source continued, Phil knew exactly what he was doing, and it's all clearly part of his comeback plan. Holly knew he wouldn't stay hidden away for long. She accepts that Deck and Phil go way back, and Ali used to work at his management company, but she can't help feeling disappointed, what with her doing her new show and trying to move on from everything with Phil and this morning. And with Phil and Holly finding their inner circles blurring, Holly is apparently concerned that bumping into her former co-host could become a regular occurrence. Once she returns home from Costa Rica, where she is currently filming Bear Hunt for Netflix, a source said, Holly, her husband, Dan and their kids are all close to Deck and Ali, and their kids, they all have homes near each other. So, now Phil is back on friendly terms with Deck. of course Holly is concerned she may bump into him on nights out in London or when she spends the summer in Portugal. Holly, Phil and Deck all have holiday homes in the same area. Last year, that wasn't a risk, but with Phil planning a possible comeback, he's going to want to be seen in the right places, with the right people. More than that, though, Holly is said to be worried about what Philip may have said to Deck, about their falling out. She is also allegedly concerned about what else may come to the surface in regard to the duo's 17-year friendship. Interesting. The source continued, knowing that Phil is cozying up to close friends like Deck has made Holly more anxious. Especially since she doesn't know what's been said. She's worried he may want to talk about their fallout in some way. It's left her head spinning. While she should be enjoying her time in Costa Rica, the ghost of her friendship with Phil looms large. Holly feels like she'll never be free of his influence. The source continued. She and Phil were so close for years, and although they are on speaking terms, things are still strained and they are far from friends. The source added, unlike some, she was quick to distance herself from him, and she knows Phil feels hurt over how she seemed to wash her hands of him. A comeback will mean lots of press interviews and publicity, not only to promote whatever he does, but to try to repair his damaged reputation. As we mentioned in our last video, we are closely checking for signs of a reconciliation between Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield and to us, this looks like it could be the beginnings of it. After all, Holly Willoughby might not have any choice in the matter. If all of her good friends are buddying up with her former bestie and coming out in full support of his comeback, we believe it will only be a matter of time before she will jump on the bandwagon. Yes, Holly will certainly have a lot to think about as she films her new show in Costa Rica. Add to that, it's been alleged that being so far away from home is a struggle. 
the separation from her TV producer husband Dan Baldwin and their children is said to be taking a toll on the presenter. A source said that the 43-year-old mum of three is finding the time away from her loved ones really difficult, especially as she's on the other side of the world in the South American jungle. Holly is really missing her family. She has really struggled being apart from both Dan and the children. Especially the chaos of her family life and all her creature comforts, the insider reveals. She's had some down days. It's been tough. And she's really missed Dan and the children. The distance between them and the grueling schedule feels like they're living separate lives. She's missing cuddles with the kids and can't wait to get home and see them. Not only has she given up her home comforts, Holly's had to deal with the risks of being in the wilderness, which includes some pretty horrid creepy crawlies. A source said, Bear Hunt is not for the faint-hearted, and all the celebrities who have signed up know they're going to be heading into the wild where it's teeming with animal nasties, a source says. As well as snakes like the venomous hog-nosed pit viper, and spiders like the black widow and brown recluse, the jungle is also teeming with bats. Having co-presented I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here with Declan Donnelly in 2018, being in the Costa Rican jungle has been quite the experience for Holly. She's had a full-on schedule with little rest while filming the new show. And while it's been a great experience, it's been a real eye-opener on how grueling reality shows like this can be. Filming this show has made her realize she'll never take her home comforts for granted again. But at least now she's a fully accomplished survival expert, she's coming home tougher than ever. In fact, she's told pals she'll never be scared of creepy crawlies again. She's seen snakes, spiders, the works. Hum, the new show sounds exactly like an athletic version of I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here. Perhaps Canny Holly Willoughby picked up the idea for the show from her time in the Australian jungle. But, nasty insects are not the only thing that may bug Holly this year, as she will have yet another awkward situation to navigate as she faces off against none other than her this morning replacement Kat D. Lee, in a juicy NTA battle. Now that, should be interesting. The pair of daytime telly queens will apparently fight it out for the coveted Best TV Presenter Award at this year's National Television Awards. To be quite frank, we don't think the title belongs to either of them. Later this year, the National Television Awards are set to take place once again, with stars including Anton Deck, Alison Hammond and Amanda Holden receiving nods at the event. Holly Willoughby and Kat Dealey were recently both officially announced to be on the long list of nominees and will face a grueling public vote to whittle down the final shortlist. The new rivalry comes just eight months after Holly announced her exit from the show back in October 2023, when she decided to step away from the popular ITV morning show after 14 years, following an alleged plot to kidnap her. Although viewers will have to wait until August to find out if Holly, who has previously won five NTA awards, and Kat, who has none under her belt, make it to the shortlist. The winner of the category will be announced at a star-studded bash at London's O2 in September. Will we see for flying? As Holly Willoughby and Kat Dealey scrap it out like alley cats as they come face to face for the first time. Somehow, we have a feeling that Holly Willoughby will do what she can, not to be on that final shortlist. And will her reunion with Declan Donnelly at the high-profile event, following his closeness with Philip Schofield, prove awkward. As always, we'll have to wait and see. Check out our channel for more journeys through the blinker hole, and keep up to date with the latest news and entertainment straight to your device, for free. No membership fees, no merchandise and no links. Just sit back and enjoy for entertainment purposes only.